This is another day. This is the House of Israel Radio Bible Class. I am your teacher, Bishop David Hill. Oh, what a time we have every week. Remember, our address is 132 South 8th Street. That's between 11th and 12th Avenue. 132 South 8th Street in the city of Newark. Our phone number is 973-353-0321. Please give us a call. I would be delighted to talk with you. We are thankful for our mail and for you that calls in and writes in and that you are enjoying the Bible class. We are just thankful for that. And you please continue to write in. This is Queen Dale. She's going to give us a beautiful selection at this time. Hallelujah, yes. Just beautiful. Shalom, Rachel, and peace unto you. Elijah came to Israel to gather his people home. He came to change what the Gentiles has done. For today is Elijah's day, and there is no other way. Elijah came to change what the Gentiles has done. Elijah changed my life. Elijah changed my heart when I was down. My Lord, free me. Elijah changed my life. Elijah changed my heart. Oh, but lift me up, my Lord, free me. Elijah, change my life. Elijah, change my heart. Oh, but lift me up, my Lord, free me. Elijah, change my life. Elijah, change my heart, over oh, lift me up, and set me free. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Queen Dale. This is the House of Israel Radio Bible Class. I'm your teacher, Bishop David Hill. We are rejoicing to be here with you again on this Sunday morning. We are on the air every Sunday morning, 6.45 to 7.15. We ask you to tune in and listen to the Bible class each and every week. We are the Jewish group. We are Jews. Yes, we are Hebrews. We teach the Jewish doctrine and we invite you to join us. We are Sabbath keepers and we follow the holy feast days. We ask you to take part. Join in and be with us every Saturday at 11 o'clock our service starts. And we are there all day. The lunch is free. Just come across and fellowship with us each and every Saturday as we give praise and thanks to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. A holy diet. I want to talk to you today about a holy diet. The world is being flooded today with diets. A diet to make you lose weight, a diet to make you get some weight, a diet that you can eat everything you want and still be slim. The world is being flooded today with diets. Everybody is getting in the act. It has become to be a great seller all across America. Some kind of diet. 
Many churches have set up exercise programs right in their basement. Let you run and jump and skip. All you do is write a check on your way out. The diet thing has become the thing. Well, <clears throat> excuse me. This is a holy diet. It carries no cost. You pay nothing for it. It's yours for the Aston. You just write or phone 973-353-0321 and tell us I want the holy diet. And we will just mail it across to you. Now, here's what you do. It's yours free. You need it. You should get it. And we are ready to send it out to you. Get on the phone now and make a call. Say, send me the holy diet. And it's yours. It's yours. You have to keep in mind. Exodus, the 15th chapter, and verse 26. The Most High, Father Elijah, he says, I am he that healeth thee. Amen. I want you to turn in your Bible and read that. That's in the Holy Diet. And uh, look what it says. Exodus, the 15th chapter, and verse 26. And said, and said, if thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. Now, if you diligently hearken to the voice of thy God, walk in his commandments and his statutes, pick up your phone and call us today. I'd be happy to talk with you. 973-353-0321. That's our phone call. That's our phone number. If the line is busy, please ring right back. Yes, read it, my dear. And will do that which is right in his sight. And will do that which is right in his sight. And will give ear to his commandments. Yes. And keep all his statutes. Yes. I will put none of these diseases upon thee. Now listen, the most I have told Israel, and you are Israel, 91% of all the people that's listening to this Bible class, they are Jews. Did you know that? Did I say 91? I better go bold up. Said 96. 96% of everyone that listens to this Bible class, they are Jews. Amen. And listen what the Most High have said. He said, now, if you will walk in my commandments, if you will follow my doctrine and my teaching, I won't put none of these diseases up on you. Amen. You know, that's something really good to have in the holy diet. You'll read about all of those diseases in the booklet that I'm going to mail you, free of charge. Free of charge. Yours for the asking. Just give us a call. 973-353-0321. It's yours for the asking. But the best medicine in the world, any doctor will tell you, is preventive medicine. Amen. Not a medicine that will heal you, but a medicine that will keep you from getting sick. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, that is real good medicine. You know what's better than trying to be healed with sugar diabetes? Is don't get it. Amen. That's the best medicine in the world. Well, right in the booklet there, we have God's remedy. What your teacher did, I went through the Bible. Yes, I did it all. I went through the Bible and did this work for you. You do not have to go through the Bible trying to find these scriptures that deals with your health. Now, I know somebody done already said, well, why Bishop ain't dealing with the gospel today? I don't know. Everything I preach, they say I'm not preaching. <laughs> Everything I bring, they say I'm not preaching the gospel, you know. When I preach about the Jews in black, I wonder why he preaches that. Why he's so racist? I think next 
Sunday morning, I'm going to seek and I find some scriptures to teach that they're white. Ain't no scripture to teach that, but I can lie like the rest of them and go ahead and say it anyway. <laughs> Just a joke from Bishop. Yes, this diet, the holy diet, is born directly from God. Amen. You do not have to buy it. First of all, the Most High explains all of the disease that he is not going to put up on you just because you are you. Did you know that's important? Amen. He says to Israel, and you are Israel, I got to keep repeating this. There are certain diseases I'm not going to put on you. Amen. I'm going to put them on other folks. Amen. Would you read that verse again for me, Princess? My reader is Princess Diana Harris. She's doing a good job. Amen. And said, If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and wilt do that which is right in his sight. Now, this doing what is right in his sight is to follow his diet Amen. to follow his diet I'm not telling you to go somewhere and buy some pills or tablets and take three before lunch and two after dinner and one before you sleep don't go buy nothing just phone and get this diet free the holy diet we have nothing to sell the holy diet is yours for the Aston. Read on, my child. And will give ear to his commandments. And will give ear to his commandments. And keep all his statutes. And keep all of his statutes, including the holy Sabbath day. Amen. Did you know the world have tried to destroy the whole Bible, especially the 39 books? just to get rid of that fourth commandment. Amen. They have tried to get rid of the whole Bible. Amen. 39 books, they just scratch them off. They no good. They finished, done away with, nailed to the cross. Jesus brought them in to them. We don't want them. We don't need them. <laughs> but guess what? When they get through tearing out the pages, the Sabbath is marching on. Amen. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. That's in the holy diet. Your body needs a certain amount of rest. It needs to rest. I don't care if you're driving a brand new limousine, a brand new Rolls Royce, a Cadillac. You have to take it and get it serviced sometime. Let it rest. Let them check it. They got to grease it up. They got to check everything about it. No matter that it's new, that's good for your body too. The Most High made your body. And he know what to do for it. And we tell you all about it in this diet. You know what? Listen to this. In this diet, we tell you how much water you should drink per day. You know it's important to drink water. Amen. Did you know that, my children? Amen. The Bible says over and over again the importance of drinking a certain amount of water per day. Amen. A lot of folks didn't even know that. And some folks use Pepsi to substitute for water. It will not work. There is no substitute for water. Amen. The word says you must drink a certain amount of water. Amen. Not Dr. Pepper. Yes, the water helps your system to stay clean. Amen. You may be driving a brand new limousine, Rolls Royce, Cadillac, but it needs water. You've got to put some water in it. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. Well, your body, your body is more important than a Rolls Royce. Hallelujah. Amen. 
your body is more important than a brand new Cadillac. Amen. It needs some water. A certain amount a day. Well, it's in the book. You write for it. I just want this right over. 973-353-0321. And we're going to mail it right out to you. The free diet, the holy diet. Well, God, excuse me again. God has something in the holy diet. We've been, we've been eating pork all our life. I think it was probably that mother pulled her breast out of our mouth and stick a hog foot in it. We've been on it all our life. We've been eating the hog all our life. We didn't leave no part of the hog. We ate his head, his ears, his foot, his intestines. We, we had everything about that hog. His chitlins, we call them the chitlins. <laughs> the old lady that raised me said, shut up, boy. Get you some of them chitlins. <laughs> oh, yes, we did. Oh, yes, we did. But listen, the most high says in his diet, Israel, don't touch it. Amen. Don't touch it. Amen. Don't use it. Amen. It is against you. Amen. I, I don't know why the Most High said it was against us. He made our body. He said, I am he that healeth you. Amen. I know what should go in your body. And he tells Israel, stay away from the swine. Amen. Once you get sick and you get that pressure and your head is swimming like you're drunk, the doctor said, well, I got to take you off of the port. I got to take you off of the port. Now, if the doctor take you off when you sick, when you get well, you ought to have enough sense to stay off on your own. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. Let the swine alone. Amen. Don't tell me. I know you. Oh, I've been eating that all my life. Okay, okay. Mother did the best she could. She thought it was good for her. She didn't know. But now that there's more light, stay away from the swine. Look in your Bible. You got your Bible? Leviticus 11 and verse 7. Let's see what the Most High say about the swine. He know about your body. He know how high and how low your pressure should go. Leviticus chapter 11, verse 7. And the swine, though he divide the hoof, and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. He is unclean to you. Listen to what he said. Listen careful to what the Most High said that made your body. Put all the blood in your body that's in there. He said the swine is not good for you. Amen. Now he didn't say it's not good for nobody. That may be folks it's good for. But Israel, you are not one of them. Amen. He said, you must not eat the swine. I want you to be healthy. Uh, I think I can give you another scripture that you're going to find in the holy diet when you fold us up or write us. We're going to mail it out right out to you, free of charge. I don't want you to call me and ask me how much we got to pay for the water. <laughs> we don't have no water to sell. Get the water out of your faucet. Hello? Amen. You don't want that? Go to your grocery store. <laughs> Buy you some water. We don't have no water to sell you. We have nothing to sell. Amen. Even this pamphlet, the holy diet, it's free. It's free. Amen. Have you called already to line and visit? Just call back. 973-353-0321 In 3rd John, I think I can get this scripture in. In 3rd John, chapter 1 and verse 3. I, I want you to listen what is in your Bible. You got to understand, 
it's more things in the Bible than going to church, getting happy, and shouting. That's all right. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Bishop here love to shout. I love to dance all over the floor and give praise. I think I told you a few weeks ago, I used to get happy every time Sam Cook went to the floor. Oh, yeah, Sam Cook just moved me. <laughs> and I remember he, he also uh, moved me and everything he was saying. <laughs> When he when he when he stopped singing the the holy songs and started singing them other songs, I was right up on the front seat, still enjoying Sam Cook. Because I believe we can listen to all sort of music and still be holy. Amen. I can't get too close to those folks that's so holy they can't smile, they can't laugh. I was preaching one time in Dallas, Texas, and as I usually do, I make some jokes or something in my sermons. Sister sitting on the front seat jumped up. They should heal. This is no time for laughing. This is a time for crying. I said, you know what, sister? I think you're right. I, I think you're right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my seat. Now you come up here and lead us in crying. Guess what? Guess what? She didn't even get up. She just sat down and sat looking at me. I said, come up and lead us in crying. We can smile and still be a child of God. Somebody say amen. amen. We can listen to Sam Cook saying, bring it on home to me and still be holy. Amen. Some folks, so you speak to them, they don't even say, but they just. You have to be so holy. Well, I want you to be so holy you won't eat no swine. Amen. There's a whole lot of things, just nine of them that the most high list is that you must not eat. They're all right there in the little pamphlet. You just send a cross, make your phone call, we're going to mail you one out immediately, free of charge, the holy diet. Just say, mail me the holy diet. Give us your name and address and that's it. Read this verse. I hope you got it at home. Third John 1 and 3. For I rejoice greatly. Start over all the way from the top. Thank you. For I rejoiced greatly. Well, then it must be wrong. If it's you reading from the top, that's not what I want to hear. Uh uh. Maybe Second John 1 and 3. But my book says Third John 1 and 2. 1 and 2. Third John. Beloved. Ah, you got it now. Beloved, I wish above all things. Li listen what the Most High is saying. Listen what the Most High is saying. I'm telling you, you can you can look after your health and still be holy. Some folks say, "Well, the Lord knows when He wants me to just take me on home." No, you need to try to stay here as long as you can. Amen. The Lord is not writing down death warrants and sending them out to pick us up. One by one, listen what he says. This is Third John one and two. Beloved, I wish above all. Things. I wish above all things, my, 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 my. I wish above all things. Yes, that thou mayest prosper. I want you to prosper. Listen, listen. It's not a sin to prosper. It's not a sin for your son or your husband to try to open up a little business. The most I said the first thing I want, I want you to prosper. Amen. I want you to do something for, get off of the welfare and start doing something wonderful. Amen. I wish for you to prosper. And be in health. And I want you to be in good health. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
I want you to have, I know most of us don't have no insurance. We can't go see no doctor. Well, listen, if you follow a good diet, it might slow you down from having to be carried to the ER room. You call right now, make your phone call. It's free of charge. 973-353-0321. We're going to mail it out to you immediately. The Holy Diet is yours for the asking. Let me close with this verse. Read it again. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. Oh, that is so wonderful. That's good all the time. But the clock just said, David, that's all of your time. This time, till the next time, I want you to remember this holy diet. I want you to get it. I want you to send for it now. The line is busy. Just call back. Because we want you to have it. I prepared it. I went into the Bible. And I searched all of those scriptures where the Most High became our doctor. In Exodus 15 and 26, he said, I am he that healeth you. Amen. Even when we go to the doctor and he heal us, give God the glory. Amen. Give God the praise. Amen. I am he that healeth you. Amen. You follow this diet, it's good for your health. It's good for your life. You can live a good life, a better life, a happy life. God is not ready for you to come home. You stop talking like that. I know Bishop is not ready to go. Not at all. I'm not ready to go. And I've been working for the Lord, I'm sure, longer than you. Amen. Oh, yes. I think I was preaching before your mother was born. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But I'm not ready to go no place right now. I want to keep right on preaching. I've come that you might have life. And that you might have it more abundantly. A good life. A wonderful life. A happy life. Thank you for your time. This time, till the next time, may God bless and keep you. This is my prayer.
Thank you.